got 501 parts here. So I want to do a consolidated video on testing all the relays on the Yamaha forward, foilers and the side-to-sides. So I have three of them here. There's actually four. It's a new one that came out on the 2015 and 16 models. As soon as I get the service manual for that one, I'll go ahead and edit the video and put that in here too. But for now, we're going to go ahead and start out with these three. So you can see I've got my ohm meter set up. Got to set the ohms. Got my battery set up with my spade terminal so I can make the testing a little bit easier. And I've got the manual pulled up here on my, on my laptop. On the relay testing page, you'll actually, you can find this page in any of the manuals. This is a Grizzly 660 manual. But, uh, so we'll go ahead and start with this one. This is the 5DM relay. It's got the, it's an Omron relay. Got the G8HN numbers on top of it. I'm going to pull it out of the socket just to make it a little easier. But going by the manual here, we're going to turn it upside down like an upside down T. And we're going to start out right here. It's telling me to put my tester lead positive on number one and my negative on number two. And you can see my home meter. Good relay. So next thing it's telling me to do is to power up the relay. So it's telling me to put my positive terminal on terminal three, which is right there. Spade terminals make it a lot easier. And it's telling me to do my negative on number four. You can hear the click to it. So the relay's powered up. So it's telling me now the next step and the final step is to put my positive on the first one and my negative on the second one. So you can see we've got continuity. Now that's a good relay. That's all there is to it. And the next one here, this is a, the 2 9 u relay. Same thing as the white one that you find. This one's just black. So I'm going to scroll on down to the, to the next page here. Showing this relay. So first thing it's telling me to do on this one is put my positive lead on number one, which is on the bottom, and my negative lead on number two, which is on the top. See my own meter? We've got we've got continuity on that one. Let's check it again. So we've got continuity. So the next thing it's telling me to do is power it up. So telling me to put it on my positive on number one. Actually my pos let's see, positive on number one. Yep. And my negative. On number two, you can hear it clicking. Just get the seat down on there. Then the next and final step right here is telling me to put my positive lead on number three. So that's the bottom one. And then my negative lead on number four is the top one. You can see my own meter. It's a good relay. Easy stuff. So we'll move on to the next one. It's actually a, a 5EA relay. It's found on, uh, I think, 07, 08 Grizzlies and 2008, 2000 through 2013 Rhino 700s. So I'll leave this one in the in the uh, socket here. So I don't want to break the clips off the side of it. I'm going to scroll to my next manual. This is a Rhino 700 manual. And you can see, same thing, this one's turned upside down like a T. First thing it's telling me to do is power this one up. So it's telling me to put my, my positive on terminal 1, which is on the bottom there. And it's telling me to put my negative on number 2, which is on the other side of it. You hear it clicking. So, next step. And testing this one is to put my positive on number three, which is the top one, and my negative on the 100, which is number four. And you can see my on meter, we've got continuity. So good relay. Easy test. Uh, like I said, as soon as I get the service manual for the next one, it's actually an 8DM part number. I'll go ahead and update the video and, and get it on there.